Hi, my name is Tony Kovach, and I'm the artist in residence here at Liberty Bellows in Philadelphia. I want to welcome you back to our series of instructional videos for the piano accordion. In our last few lessons, we talked about techniques for playing Irish, Scottish, and Swedish music, and today we're going to shift our focus to playing a French folk song called Mazurka Limousin. Today is exciting because we get to introduce a new row, the B row. So E is usually marked with an indent or a rhinestone, so find your E row, you're going to go up one row, and that's your B row. Also note that on a 72 bass accordion, the B row is the second highest row. The row on top is your F sharp row, and if you simply go down by one, you found your B row. Today we're going to use the B minor chord in the progression for the B section of the song. That section starts on an E minor chord, and because we're playing a waltz today, we're going to play a 1-2-3 pattern, bass chord chord. So E minor, then D major, E minor, here's our B minor, E minor, D major, and then here we're going to play two beats of A minor, then one beat of B minor, so that's one measure in 3-4, that's 1-2-3, and then E minor one measure. That's going to be E minor, D, E minor, B minor, E minor, D, A minor, B minor, E minor. So to create a mazurka feel, we're only going to play on the first and third beat of each measure. So you're going to play the bass note on the first, and you're going to play the chord on the third beat. So that will sound like this. And other times in our song today, we're going to play a chord on one, and then we're going to play again on the and of two. You may remember this from our last lesson. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. You probably noticed from the chord progression that these are not chords commonly used in a minor key. In fact, the flat seven chord D and the minor dominant B minor are characteristic of the Dorian scale. This section of the song is in E Dorian, which means you're going to go from E to E with two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. However, a different section of the song is actually in G major, which only has one sharp, F sharp. So all of this should come in handy in our song of the day, Mazurka Limousin. The first part of our song is in G major, and therefore it will have the characteristic happy sound of a major key. Our chord progression is incredibly simple, it's simply four chords repeating just like this. C, G, D, E minor. C, G, D, E minor. Notice in this section we're playing on the one and three, playing the bass on one and the chord on three. C, G, D, E minor. C, G, D, E minor. So what's interesting about this song is that the first two times you play through that sequence, you're going to play on the one and three. After that, you're going to switch to our other pattern, which is playing on the one and the and of two. So you play the bass on one and the chord on the and of two. That will sound like this. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So to recap, you're going to play those four chords four times in a row. The first two times, you're going to play on the one and three, one, two, three. And the third and fourth time, you're going to play on the one and the and of two. One, two, three, one, two, three. The 
the first phrase is going to start with your second finger on E, and don't forget that there's an F sharp in this section of the song. So the first phrase looks like this. So notice that we play the B two times. In practice, in the song, you're going to play it once with your thumb, and then you're going to substitute your pinky. That's going to put you in a good position to continue the phrase as it descends. So starting on the B, that will look like this. Notice my hand can easily play that phrase in a five finger position. We're going to descend from B down to F sharp. Once your finger reaches the low E, you're going to shift up so that your second finger is on the high E. And then this is where the second phrase differs slightly. You're going to walk down from B to F sharp. Here it is again. Those two phrases together sound like this. And this brings us to the B section, which is an E Dorian. Remember, that means it has F sharp and C sharp. Luckily, we already know the chord progression for the B section. It's the chord progression I showed you in our warm up today E minor, D, E minor, B minor, E minor, D, A minor, B minor, E. The first phrase of this section is simply us ascending through the E Dorian scale from E up to D. That's going to require us to make a shift. After the F sharp, we're going to shift and put our thumb on G. That looks like this. Once you get to the D on top, you're going to play an arpeggio down D, A, F sharp. That's with your pinky, middle finger, and index finger. That whole phrase looks like this. For the second phrase, we're going to stay in our five finger position with our thumb on E. Notice that crossover at the end, that's to make sure I'm in a good position as we repeat the first phrase. Here's the second phrase again. So that's my second finger on D. Then we're going to repeat the first phrase. The next phrase starts with your thumb on E. Here it is again. After that, the entire section repeats. So let's put it all together. Congratulations, you've completed the unit How to Play a 72 Bass Accordion. Join us for our next unit, How to Play a 96 Bass Accordion, which is going to focus on klezmer, balkan, and musette music. Thanks for watching.